good morning class 4 today new maths class first maths class after a long period and your chapter will be division okay so i have completed before that so your chapter will be division start with 5.1 page number 57 division first i should make you understand what is division means division means dividing division means dividing in equal parts when i divide something among friends in equal parts for example i have 10 chocolates and i have to give among two friends so one by one i will distribute and ultimately at last i will find how many chocolates to my friends have then i will find that each of my friends one and two is having five chocolates each this is known as division or divide this is known as division or divide now here 253 divided by 7 253 divided by 7 7 is divisor so i am writing it here and uh, it is dividend we will write i give a bracket and then i am writing whatever we get at here and get by dividing is known as quotient if anything is remaining that is known as remainder now for example 7 we will take a multiple of 7 uh, 7 1 is 7 7 2 is 14 7 3 is 21 7 4 is 28 so 28 is more than 25 so i will write something less than it then it is 3 is 21 okay now after this we are dividing uh, multiplication we are subtraction doing subtraction so we are getting 4 after writing 4 we are taking down 3 here So again, we will find something same to same forty three or less or than forty three. Then we are getting seven six the forty two. Now six I am writing at the top of three because it is the an multiplication answer of forty three. And in twenty five plus I have written at the top of five because two is not working. It is smaller than seven. That's why I have to take two part. So. I have written three at the top of five and six at the top of three. Now the remainder is one, so I will write answer quotient thirty-six remainder one. So this is the process of doing division. Now one more thing I will teach you that is again I am take I have taken two and on it seven seven six of forty-two written forty-two subtraction zero I am getting. One I am taking down because it is division. I have to as much numbers are there. I have to bring it down. After bringing it down, I am finding nothing here, so I don't have anything to write here. So what will happen? Here the sum is ending. No, no the sum is not ending. Seven. One is smaller than seven, so I cannot do the division. So here I am writing zero. So the answer will be seven sixty, and the uh, quotient will be sixty. Remainder will be one. So quotient sixty, remainder one. Now why this uh, doing this sum? While well, doing this sum, I will teach you one more thing. How to check if your sum is correct or not? For that, this is divisor. I will multiply this with quotient. So seven multiplied by sixty, I am getting four twenty. Now here is the remainder one. So I will. Add one twenty plus one. I am getting four twenty one. That means your answer is correct. Next sum four eighty six divided by nine nine forty eight nine one is a nine. I will read less than is five is a forty five eight from five subtraction. I will get three and six. I am bringing down thirty six. So nine how much thirty six four is a thirty six. There is no remainder. Subtraction zero, so the quotient will be fifty-four. Answer. One more sum. I will do it for you. That is I. Okay. The number is five, four, two, six divided by eight. Now again, I am writing here eight, giving a bracket, five, four, 
two six. Mind that you are copying the number properly, otherwise the sum will be wrong. So eight eight five is a forty. Eight six is a forty eight. Eight seven is a fifty six. So fifty six is bigger. So eight six is a forty. It has a forty. It is a forty-eight. So I write six here, forty-eight here. After subtraction, how much I will get? Six. Six. I am bringing down two. Again, I will read out the multiplication. Again, eight eights are sixty-four. That is bigger than sixty-two. So eight sevens are fifty-six. I will do the my subtraction and I will get six because twelve minus six. Again, I will write six. Bring down this six. Again, something eight eight is a sixty-four. Again, the subtraction I will do and I will get two. So here the answer will be quotient. Six seventy-eight, and the remainder will be two. Okay, I think it is okay for you to understand. For your homework, you will do. You will practice the sums. Do it in a maths copy, and rest you will do. If two three three six divided by four. K eight zero nine six divided by eight, and then it is L one zero zero eight one divided by five. Homework, okay? Practice. Others also you will practice, but this five you practice because tomorrow I will show you these three sums again, and you see if it is correct with your division that you have done at home or not, okay? Bye.